Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing the Hourly Bullet Arena on LeeChess.org. We've got 66 players, and we're about to start. And for the first time, I'm going to berserk all my games in this tournament. It's something new. Um, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I missed the chance to berserk against Seppo. I like instantly played my move, and I didn't get the chance. Oh, that's such a buzzkill. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, play this tournament normally then, and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I was planning on berserking, but... I'm going to do that in a different video, probably also published today. So let's just go here and look for a trade against Seppo. Trade of the Knights. Um, yeah, this is not good. I'm blundering a pawn. Hmm. He just plays his queen in instead. Okay, so let's take, and then we'll go f6 and just reinforce the pawn. He can take my bishop, so he's got the bishop pair now. I'm a little flustered because I had some audio issues, like, right before the start of this tournament. My mic wasn't working for some reason as the tournament was, like, literally about to start, and that was a real bummer. I thought I was going to have to miss it for a second. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was looking forward to berserking every game, but it's not to be. Okay, I'm not going to take this bishop because I don't have to. So I'm just going to play it cool for now, and let's play h6 maybe, and I'm going to cover this square. I want to slowly do this and this, but it takes some time to organize. Seppo has a hard time moving here, though. Is a real difficult situation on the king side to work with. So let's do this and look for a trade. Okay, so let's come let's come here actually. He can give a check and then maybe jump his knight into f5, but on the whole this should be fine for me. Okay, he's going to take that. So let's go here. Hmm. Let's come up here. So if he takes, I get to go here and fork these two pieces, or at least that's my thought. Um, I didn't see that, but I can go here maybe. Low time for both of us. Yeah, I'm making some wonders, but let's see what we come up with. See if we can attack that rook there. Go take that. Go after his knight. And he blundered it. Let's go maybe take something. All right, so we win that game. Uh, sorry for the false alarm about the uh, all berserks. I got to turn my volume up a little bit too because it's very low right now. Can't even hear myself or hear the moves. But I will be doing that probably the next tournament I record. I just have to make an effort to actually remember. All right, Castagallo. We're berserking this game. Try to capitalize on that first round win against Seppo. And then I'm going to go d6, knight f6, castle. Let's feed and keto this bishop. And then put the knight on d7 and probably blast open the center with e5 soon. Let's go here, actually, to attack this first. See if he notices. He does. But maybe we can attack the knight this way. I'm trying to force it to a bad square. But it seems like he sees that f4 needs to be guarded. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to try to work this knight in. And maybe the other knight coming to g3 could help out. Let's look for a swap. This is a powerful knight on e4 right now. Hmm. Okay, let's go f6, kick that knight back. Wow, okay, so we're going to shatter our respective structures, but I want a pawn in the center. Okay, we get to take this one, that's good. Mm, let's go back just for safety's sake. g6 is going to be weak, so I think he might take and play like queen g4. But, okay, let's take here. I'm going to go queen d6 then and play for e5 with my 12 seconds remaining. This can be considered the warm-up then to the 100% Berserk tournament. <laughs> How about that? Okay, now we've got this fork going. If he blocks on f4, I take with my rook. So I see this ending very badly for white. I don't think he's going to escape from this mess. Yeah, so we get to take here and now go g5 on the next move. And we are winning material. Just deciding which way I want to take on f4 or crank up the pressure like so. This looks pretty good. Okay, let's just take that. And we win. Okay, back to tournament. Who is next? We've got a lot of strong players in the event. I see King's Crusher is in there. Uh, Steppo, obviously, we played in the first game. Bahadir Ozen was in for like a second, and then he withdrew. So I don't know if he had something to do or what. Seppo's complaining about getting flagged. All right, let's berserk this game against Lone Ranger. 
Lone Ranger Finn. A username after my own heart. <laughs> okay, let's take here and then go for F3 and try to break this open. At the expense of development, though, my development is backward. There's no doubting that. Okay, he takes that way. Let's go here. He might go for h5 and try to checkmate me. But I'm hoping I, I can put my queen on h5 or something before he does that. He's got a weak e4 pawn. Wow, he castled long. That is gutsy. I would not have done that if I were Mr. Lone Ranger. Uh, in fact, let's try to checkmate him now based on the way he's playing this. Um, am I going to get there first? I think I might. If he goes h4, he can play c5, though. Uh, c5. Oh, but he blundered. He blundered big time. Now he's losing his queen and or the game. Uh, I think I can check here. That's going to be almost mate. Okay, let's... Man. Okay, let's take, first of all. I got to do that. And then if he plays rook h8, we check and then go after his rook over here. That's important. So let's give a check there. And then I'm going to bring my queen over to f5. Attacking the e4 pawn and also f7. Okay, so take that. And then we're going to win his h2 pawn, or his g2 pawn, rather, I believe. He's going to check me around a little bit, but I think on the whole, we should be close to mating him. If not, definitely mating him. Except, this is going to be tricky with the amount of time I have. Okay, so we got the win. He ran out of time. So, two berserks. Not the 100% Berserks that I was intending on, but if I if I couldn't get that Berserk off in the first game, I feel like I, sh I can't do it, really. So we're going to Berserk a little bit, but sorry for the no 100% Berserks. Top 10 is the next opponent, 2028. 20, he's going to sack some stuff and try to checkmate me. He can get his Knight in there, but let's see. I don't know. I've gotten an extra exchange. Let's go E5, hit the Bishop. Let's see how crazy he wants to get. Oh, this is hanging. I should have seen that. Let's go here, see if he wants to swap queens, which he kind of has to. Okay, now we get our knight into d6. This is looking good. Let's play Let's play rook over and try to hoover some of our pieces down the h-file. Start attacking his king. Yep, we get to do this and now bring the other rook over in preparation for this move. Ooh, he's just going to let us take here. Okay, well now let's advance this guy. He can win d4, but I don't think that matters whatsoever. Now we're threatening to take and then play g7. So, well, let's push that. Now we're threatening to take here. We'll give a check and go take that guy. Now we're just hunting down the king. He can't move his own king. He can give it... Okay. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Should be mate soon. Uh, give a check here. And we've got mate coming up. All right, so a successful win against top 10. Who else we got in the mix? We got Deep Feller, The Boss Returns, Negro Palma. All right, let's berserk this one too. Why not? I'm going to offer a gambit like so, but we're transposing into an exchange variation. Usually they play Bishop F4. Nope, he's going to go for a setup with G3, Bishop G2 instead. Play the Rook over to C8, Bishop to D6, all this good stuff. Okay, he wants that bishop pair. I'm going to actually do this and try to spice it up a little bit. But no. Okay, now I'm actually threatening knight takes d4. It's a nice little shot. He saw that. But can we threaten some stuff towards his king? That would be kind of interesting if we could. Well, he's coming at us pretty hard in the center, so we better respect that a little bit. Let's take... He might try to open things up like that. I'm trying to reinforce d5 so I don't have to allow him to play pawn d5. This is getting a little more positional, though. I would have liked it to be sharper, so I had a chance to beat him with my Berserk going on. It's still early, though. I've got 18 seconds, so... That sounds so funny to say. <laughs> still early. I've got 18 seconds. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Knight c5, maybe? Uh, okay, he's playing for the checkmate. No doubt about it. Uh, let's go here. I don't want to get checkmated on h7, even though I have this knight protecting. I think my rook coming into c2 would be really helpful. And or knight g4. Knight g4 might be nice. Hunt down this dark square bishop. How about that? It looks really good. We're catching up on the clock. I need to create some threats, though. Let's bring this over next. We're headhunting d4. Looking for that d4 win. He knows that time is of the essence here. OK, 
Okay, drop that back. Look for some trades. This queen is way off sides, isn't it? Let's bring this down. Okay, take that. He's going to win my knight. But does it matter? Let's bring this up. Oh, he gave a check. A very inconvenient check. Let's go check him here. Ooh, and we went on time. Okay, so I had two point something seconds left there at the end. Thank you, Boss Potato. Boss Potato is cheering me on. Who is up next? Deadly King? All right, this is a Berserk 2. Knight F3 and G3, the Berserk opening. Let's go Bishop G2. And then we'll play for C4. Looks like we got a Catalan on our hands. And he chooses to reinforce. Catalan may not be an ideal variation for trying to Berserk win. But now I like my position because I have a lot of space. And I think Black has played some suboptimal moves, let's say. He's going to play the Knight to F6. Let's Fianchetto our dark square bishop. Actually, yeah, let's do that. He needs to get his light square bishop into the game. Let's do this and try to get him to trade. C5 would be a good move for him right here, though. Um, okay, let's drop this back. And then maybe go for C5, knight F4, that sort of thing. Okay, he's going to beat us to the punch, but we do get this move in. Now he should close it up. E5, he does. Let's go this over here and then play for F4. We need to do something like that. Except I'm going to get out of the way just so if he plays here, I can play f5. Actually, no. Sorry, he can't do that now. Well, that's a big blunder by him. Okay, let's go here. And I'm not going to take because otherwise his bishop gets a really good diagonal. So I don't see a reason to do that. Now he's in big trouble, obviously, down the rook. My queen is going to make an appearance on h5 if I can swing it over there. So we'll give it a check. And then if... King g8, we have rook e8, so another set of pieces coming off the board. Let's bring this back just to defend c4. This is kind of a conservative play, but I figure I should probably play this way. Let's take, let him take there. Oop, we get this in. Now we can give some checks and I think just win the game. Checkmate. All right, back to tournament. So we win against Deadly King. Deep Feller has more points than us. He's already played three extra games compared to us. He just beat Seppo, and we're playing Deep Feller. I don't think I can Berserk this game, so let's just play normal. Yeah, I, I beat this player last time we played, but it wasn't easy. They played pretty well. So let's just reinforce the center. Um, go Bishop E7. They might play their Queen to B3, but not anymore, it seems. Let's do this. See if we can get a trade. Knight d2 could be played, and then I'm going to go for f5, I believe. Place the knight to the center. Okay. Um, let's do this and then play e3. Just look to mess up their structure a bit. I could have taken on e2. I can still do this. So let's do that and come here. He can win b7, but I think, I think he's got to be careful. I mean, e2 check and bishop f2 could be a threat. Um, yeah, he's seeing some good moves. Hmm. He's seeing some very hard to find moves. Okay, I'm going to do this and then play for c5. I got to find some way to get my pieces active. Takes there. Okay. Wow. He saw that too. I'm impressed. I am quite impressed that he saw f5 at the end and I can't take because I have a back rank problem. Hmm. All right. Well, we're struggling on down a piece, but this is not going to end well, of course, given the material deficit. Just trying to make something happen. Um, can't really bring up my king any further. Let's come here. Attack h3, I guess. Try for something. We're hitting the bishop. But this should not be working. Give a check again, just because. Runaway f-pawn. That's about our only chance at this stage. He's got a c-pawn that I have a hard time doing anything against. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to resign. Yeah, that was just a good game by him. He saw through the tactical complications. Some tough to find moves like Rook D6. And seeing that F5 was possible at the end of that line. Difficult. All right, Heiser. We're berserking this game. Trying to get back in the swing of things after that loss. 
He's playing an early capture. I'm going to take on d5 and then just open this baby right up. Because that's what you got to do when you berserk. You got to be willing to throw the pawns down the board and not throw caution to the wind sometimes. Okay, so my king is open and my queen side development is lagging, but other than that, I have a good position. <laughs> uh, let's go e5. Knight d5 maybe? Yep, he's going to do it. And then I get to put the bishop here. He can send his knight into e4, but I think I get nice pressure against d5 should he do this. I feel good with the two bishops right now, but the game is going to take on some slower characteristics. So let's go here. I'm threatening to take on e4 as is. Uh, and he did not notice that that was possible. And if he takes, he gets back rank checkmated. So bad news for Heiser. Yeah, he's just losing a piece now for no compensation. So let's take here. And I'm going to go for e6 like immediately hereafter. If he takes it, I get to swap queens and we should be winning this endgame. No problem. Okay, let's give a check here first. And go take that guy. Play a3 just to make sure he can't play rook takes a2. I'll go take this one. Okay, we'll come here. Ooh. <laughs> that might have just been a Hail Mary move. Rook d8. Okay, so we have 10 minutes left in the tournament. I'm trailing Deep Feller. Crow Stallion is the next opponent. I'm trying to come back, so I am berserking this one. Whoa, what's this? Okay, let's play e3. He still doesn't want to trade. Okay. <laughs> well, let's take here. Takes the queen that time. Let's go knight c6. Hmm. Got to keep his knight out, though. Like, knight b5 is kind of annoying right now, so let's do this. Still knight b5 is annoying. Oh, my king's going to have to go for a walk. Knight c7, bishop c5. Uh, bishop c5 wins a piece, doesn't it? You can just take there. Okay, we're scrambling. Trying to make something happen. Bishop d3 would be a good move for him. Uh, I got to try to get out of this pin that I'm currently in. Let's go here, at least try to stop bishop e3 and similar stuff. I'm getting ravaged on the king side right now. And my rook has to go to a pathetic square. Let's go here and attack his bishop and hope he doesn't see it. He saw it. <laughs> well, I have seven seconds left. So great. Let's play h6 next move, try to undermine a bit. Maybe play b5, try to undermine further. Let's bring the knight into d4. I'm attacking d5, actually. Let's go c3. I'm trying for something, guys. If he takes, I get to take down here, at least. I'm trying to confuse him right now. That's, like, my only chance to get back in this one. So let's do this. Then we're going to take... Oh, somehow I won that on time. <laughs> but it hasn't helped. Look at this. Deep Feller and Seppo are ahead of me. Lone Ranger. I got to go again, Berserk. <laughs> Queen d5. They can play the knight back to c3 now. Uh, that move is another move I've encountered recently. Knight c6. And they don't have any discoveries like knight f6, so it's fine. Uh, let's go here and try to win that light square bishop. I'm defending f7, so he doesn't have any tactics in that regard. Let's play c6 just to stop any knight b5 business. Put the bishop on e6, attack the queen. And then we'll, we're going to come here, try to complete our development. It's the name of the game. That last game was a swindle and a half. I was just getting crushed. Down a piece, down time, down everything. And then somehow got back in the game. Okay, maybe I'll have some tactic on e5. Maybe, just maybe. Let's go here, see if he wants to swap. I'm trying to get at d4. And yeah, now d4 is falling. And I can take on f5 next, too. So we're up two pawns. This should be good. I can take with a queen here. Time is ticking down. Um, let's go take. And let's come here and see if we can swap. Otherwise, his bishop's hanging. Ooh, he didn't notice that his queen was hanging. Let's come down here and trade the rooks next move. Let's see if we can get a little checkmate going. He's got to take with his bishop like that. I could have played rook d2. That would have been much better. Let's not let his king out of the box here. I see a checkmate in a couple moves. Queen e3 coming. 
Okay, back to tournament. How are you doing? Six minutes left. It's pretty tight there up at the top. Deep Feller is still cruising. Who did he lose to? He lost to King's Crusher in the first game, but other than that, this guy's just been cleaning up. New account. Don't really know anything about them. Haven't you got anything, something, something about lag, someone said. <laughs> someone said that game was ridiculous. I agree. That was the game that I somehow came back and won. Okay, we have a Jinji Indian on our hands. It's been a little while since we got one of those. That's good fun, right? <laughs> All right, let's play d6, knight bd7, knight b6. Send the knight here. Put the bishop on d7. This is fun stuff. And then you get to come here. Oh, I love the end game. Attack this and this. Uh, let's take that one, first of all. Let's come here. I'm going to go for b5 and just shake this up a little bit. Ooh, now he's got a couple things hanging. Let's get ready to take here. If he takes up the knight, I have bishop b5. So then there's a little skewer going on. Um, I can... Well, let's take here first, actually. Let's take here. He can take on h8, but I control the only open file, which is kind of nice. Now I'm playing for the end game. We're playing to win this end game. Uh, let's take that guy. That's a nice pawn to win. And advance this one. I don't know what his bishop is doing way out over there. It has nothing to do on that side of the board. So I feel like we can just kind of advance. Rook g2 could now be a threat whenever I want it. But I think it's more important to advance this pawn. So that's what I will be doing. If rook a1, just a2 and rook b1 is coming. So yeah, now he can't really stop this rook b1 move. Yeah, he resigned. All right. Woo, we're in first place. Deep Feller took a loss. All right, Lufo. I got to berserk you. I got to keep this going. I'm not going to rest on my laurels here. So let's take on d5 and then play for a quick e4. Try to open up the center. e5, d4, that sort of thing. I'm going to go h4, h5 and try to checkmate him now. He's going to take there, but that's a valuable defender of his own king that he's just given up. So, ooh, were we lagging there for a second? I feel like we were. That was not so good. I had 23 seconds and then I didn't. Okay, well, let's take here. If he takes back, queen g4 is coming, like, very quick. So, yeah, he didn't even take. But let's check here now. Okay, this is looking really good for us. The knight coming into f6. Everything like that. Okay, let's give a check. I'm going to try to bring the king over. Or the queen over, rather. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go for h6 so quickly. Although I probably should. Okay, let's do this. I'm trying to get into h6. That's the plan. I know I'm letting him off the hook a little bit right now. But I have to keep the tempo going. Mm, now he can take him. Okay. Let's give a check here. I'm going to throw this move in just to confuse him. That's pretty much the only reason for that move. <laughs> Confusion factor. We'll take that. Bishop e7 coming. Ooh, this is a nice move to get in. Take. Now he's got to avert mate. Rook e7. Take that. Lots of stuff happening here. Checkmate coming, guys. I hope. Something coming. Ah, checkmate. All right, we won. <laughs> we took out Lufo. All right, I've got 46 points. Knight factor, I'm not going to berserk this game. There's 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. I am. I have a 4-point lead. I just need to win. I think this would be kind of a greedy berserk if I were to do it. So let's just try to win normal, shall we? And try to win quick, too, see if it counts. You can try to win a pawn on c4. It doesn't look like he's going to try to do it, though. Okay, let's come here. We're threatening knight takes e6. That would be a really nice tactic to get in, of course. Let's see if we can do this. Um, all right, we're threatening this again. Actually, we weren't. He had his bishop on there as well. Let's give up the light square bishop. I don't know that my light square bishop is even mattering that much in this position. Aha, and we win the knight. That is key. Rook takes c5 is coming. Okay, let's bring this knight into h5. Uh, stabilize this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you if you take my rook on f1. <laughs> that's like that's checkmate coming in like two moves. Okay, back to tournament. So we get that victory and we're up eight points with a minute twenty remaining. I don't think anyone can catch us. Deep Feller is not on a berserk streak. Luis Romano, no reason to berserk this game. Let's just do this. Let's win this game. For the Finns fans, for Team Scandi, you guys. All right, so 
knight coming out to c6 we've kind of got like a Kali position sort of although his bishop's not on b3 so it's not a zuckertort Kali. Mm, let's preserve this guy hmm, let's go h6 he might play for e5 he does but i think my knight coming into e3 is pretty inconvenient for him looks like a really annoying piece to deal with maybe knight e4 right now for him i'm not gonna move my bishop back to a7 because he would have had knight d6 in that case looks like we're gonna get material equality out of this deal um let's actually go here let him take on c5 and help me out with my structure the send game looks roughly equal i don't see a big advantage for either side i'm gonna try to gain a little space on this wing therefore let's just bring this up you can look to swap we do have a time advantage um i think i can push b5 all the same hmm let's bring this back i have a slightly weak b pawn but we've got it covered so i'm not concerned let's go f5 we'll start pushing our advantages on this side of the board the king side let's see if he wants to swap here okay let's go here to defend he can give some checks and such um okay let's do this see if he wants to swap this way let's take there Mind you, I have to watch my own B-pawn. Oh, let's do this. Attack G2. Hmm. This is a rather complicated endgame to try to win. Can we put him in Zugzwang, maybe? Close to it, huh? Going after that pawn. Well, at least now I can come up and try to win C2. This is actually kind of a tricky little endgame. We might be winning, maybe? Trickier for him than me, for sure. Okay, so now I get to advance the pawn a little further, and I think we're going to win. All right, did that count even? That did not count, but we still won the tournament. Deep Feller didn't mount any serious comeback or anything at the end. Uh, so we win with 50 points. I think the berserking helped a lot. I had a 77% berserk rate in that one, and that definitely showed in uh, the extra points that I was able to gain. We did have that loss to Deep Feller. This is a tough player. They, they kind of just outplayed us in some complications. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with that tournament. So who did Deep Feller take a loss to? He took a loss to Zebi, 24-19, and had a draw. So that was a key loss for us. He lost his first game, but losing your first game isn't so bad. Anyways, I'm about to record my All Berserks game, and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.